I was born in 1937 in a little town called San Maria, California. I was born in my aunt and uncle's hospital, and my uncle delivered me. My mother met my dad um, in California, and she sang on a radio program in Chicago, and she went on a vacation in California, and that's where she met my dad, and she fell in love with him at first sight. I had a fantastic childhood the first few years of my life. My dad built me a teeter-totter and a swing, and a, I had a, a playhouse with my name on it with windows and a clothesline in the back. My mother loved me in the only way she knew how to love me. I didn't find out until my father died. I found out from my half-brother that my father wanted to take me to live with him. My mother never told me that, and I have a piece of paper in my Bible that says if anything ever happens to her, I would never be allowed to go and see my real father again, that somebody else would have to raise me. <laughs> yes, I definitely said, when I become a mother, I am definitely going to love my children to pieces, and unfortunately, I've loved them so much. I, my older son, Mark, used to tell me, Mom, you love me so much. You love me for me and for, and for you. You've taken over all the love. I think I squelched them. I spoiled them with material things, and I wanted to do everything for them. I, I wanted also to be a, a good grandma, and, and it was important for me to play the part that I never experienced as a child. This is a great meal. So, it is a great meal. Oh, to, one of my favorites. To, to the chef. To the chef. Cheers. 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 I got you. Nice. Fabulous meal. For a second there, I thought you were holding up the parmesan.